Tom Herman has done an amazing job recruiting since taking over at Texas just over a year ago, and the class he got coming in in 2018 is currently ranked third in the country based off 24-7 sports rankings. The Longhorns currently have 10 of the top 14 players from the Lone Star State already committed or signed, including six of the top seven. Now, it's been a while since the top recruits in the state are staying in Austin, Texas, and this class has a good chance to be one of the best in school history. And when talking about the class of 2018 the Longhorns got coming in, you gotta start with the secondary. Five-star safety B.J. Foster checks in as the number one recruit overall in the state, and the 2017 Max Preps All-American is one of the best all-around defensive backs in the country. Joining him at safety is Sabolo Steals, five-star safety Caden Stearns, and when you put on the tape of the MVP of the U.S. Army All-American game, you see he's one of the best ball hawking safeties and playmakers in the country. If I had to describe ARP's five-star safety DeMarvion Overshone in one word, it would be savage. Texas fans are going to love this dude, and there's a chance the six foot four, 200-pounder moves to linebacker once he gets to college. Rounding out the secondary is Houston Lamar's duo of Anthony Cook and Deshaun Jameson. Both have a good chance to be shut down corners at the next level. Jamison is also one of the best return specialists in the nation. Houston Heights, Jalen Green is big time. The five-star corner checks in as a top 20 overall recruit on 24-7 Sports Final Player Rankings, and he is one of the best all-around DBs in the country. A couple other studs they got coming in on defense include IMG Academy's four-star linebacker, Deli Adioye, and Houston Westfield's four-star defensive tackle, Keandre Coburn, the same school that produced Ed Oliver. Looking at the other side of the rock, the Longhorns got some playmakers headed their way to go with former Austin Westlake star quarterback, Sam Ellinger, who had a legit freshman year at Texas. 2017 Max Preps first team All-American running back Keontae Ingram is going to be a name to remember. He rushed for 2,000 plus yards in each of his last two seasons and played a major role in leading Carthage to back-to-back -back 4A Division I UIL Texas State titles and 26 straight wins to end his high school career. Ingram and Coburn remain two of the four current commits who haven't signed yet, but don't be nervous, Texas Nation. It would be very surprising if they didn't sign with the Longhorns on National Signing Day. Some other playmakers signed with Texas already include Elite Taylor's four-star wide receiver Brennan Eagles. The six-foot-four wideout has some T.O. and Calvin Johnson in him because of his size and speed. Texas has three big-time players coming from Houston Lamar High School, the previously mentioned Cook and Jamison, to go with four-star wide receiver receiver Alvante Woodard. DeCaney's four-star tight end Malcolm Epps is also locked in at Texas. The six-foot-six four-star signee is one of the most versatile recruits coming in. Now, even though Texas looks set at the quarterback position for the next couple years, they got a couple ballers coming in 2018 led by Newbury Parks, four-star gunslinger Cameron Rising. The QB from SoCal accounted for nearly 8,000 total yards and 93 touchdowns over his final three years of high school football. Newcastle's four-star quarterback Casey Thompson is also a 2018 signee. He accounted for nearly 13,000 total yards and 154 touchdowns during his four-year career as the starting quarterback for the Oklahoma High School. Tom Herman and the Texas staff has done a phenomenal job with its 2018 class, and this class has a chance to be very special and one of the best Texas has ever seen.